It's interesting. It's awesome. It's what, exactly? An Earth robot. Walk, sit, roll over, do absolutely nothing. It seemed to understand that. Good robot. I don't know. It might be a spy sent to infiltrate our base. Quick, no one say anything important. Consider it done. Well, I've been meaning to get some blaster practice in, so... No, 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 no! <sighs> Recruits, you were looking at Horace Burns. Cody got it as a souvenir from the Mainland Museum. Horace was Cody's ancestor and a town hero. But what does it do? It doesn't do anything. It's art to inspire, to admire, to not be used for blaster practice. Ah, art, you say? Yeah, I don't get it. Why don't I take you on a field trip to the museum to see more art? Maybe then it'll make sense. Museum? I better get my police kit ready. I'll need handcuffs, a notebook, a flashlight, some seriously cool shades. Good to go. Whirl, what exactly do you think is going to happen at the museum? A heist, obviously. This field trip's suddenly sounding a lot more interesting. Well, today, the only mission you're going to have is look at art. Bold choice of color, pleasing octagonal shape. I love it! That would be a stop sign. The actual art is at the museum, but we have to wait until it closes before we go in. This is Milford, remember. We can't let humans see us in bot mode. So, is he art? That would be the security guard. But if he's leaving, then it's time for our field trip. Security key courtesy of Police Chief Burns. You can write him a thank you note later. Whoa! Wow. Nice! Wow, humans really love their rocks. And their broken pottery. They can't love them that much with an IRXYT alarm. This museum is a heist waiting to happen. I'll pass on your concerns to Chief Burns, Whirl. But in the meantime, maybe you can enjoy the exhibits like Hoist. Uh, it's like the dino bot of my nightmares. Whoa! Don't worry, Hoist. I think you're safe. It's pretty old. Everything here is. So I'll just put that back, Hotshot. I wonder what the artist was trying to say here. Don't slip. Ah. Ha! The wires on this alarm are sticking out. Almost like they were tampered with. <gasps> and that window is open. Almost like a burglar left it that way to come burgling later. A skylight? That's just saying throw up a grappling hook and heist me. Time to get to work. Yeah, gonna lose the specs. Okay, let's police this museum. Whoa, there's definitely someone in there. Crime scene alert. Oh, this is it, Whirl. Your first heister, probably. Oof. <sighs> I'm going for backup. <laughs> You know, Whirl, you probably shouldn't be running around priceless art. Sorry, Professor, but I think we might have a code 362! Burglary in progress! And possibly a code 598, improper use of a door on a recruit. I admire your dedication, Whirl. But even Chase takes a night off from police work once in a while. At least, that's the rumor. Heatwave is right. You should relax and observe the excellent art. Like this cone here. <gasps> that's him! Or that's the janitor, and there's nothing to see here. Chief Burns must have forgotten the cleaning crew would be here. We just need to be careful not to make too much noise. Ah! <sighs> now, can I interest you all in this early Peruvian vase? That's no janitor, and I'm going to prove it. Putting on gloves? Why, Mr. Janitor? 
To cover your fingerprints, perhaps? No? Okay, you're just cold. But I'm watching you. Cleaning that cabinet? Or cutting the glass with a diamond so you can steal priceless royal rubies? Alrighty, just cleaning. <laughs> Let's see. You are here. That's right. And that means Milford can sleep soundly. Polishing that security camera? Or covering up the lens? This detective says yes! And also that you missed a spot. Dusting an exhibit, or... No, he really is dusting. Hmm. Time to look at art, I guess. Huh? Oh, nice one, Whirl. Better clean that up. Wait. No water in the bucket? What sort of janitor would leave the floor dusty? A burglar sort of janitor, that's who! I was right! Huh? Perp is heading in a southerly direction towards the main gallery. <gasps> the main gallery? That's where the team is! Come in, bald eagle. The cat is landing. What's that, Whirl? I said, the cat is almost in the nest. Huh? Mr. Pettipaws is here. What nest? Who's bald? I mean, the burglar is coming! Quick, hide! Oh, she just means the janitor is coming and we should hide. <gasps> the janitor is coming! Hide! Hide where? You may have noticed we're quite large. 100% metallic muscle, my friend. Keep calm. We can hide in plain sight if we become the art. Uh, oil painting is not one of my vehicle modes. Good job, medics. You look just like the famous sculpture by Rodin, the thinker. Really? Well, I was thinking, just not about being a sculpture. Everyone, follow his lead. Mona Lisa, nailed it. Girl with the pearl earring, nailing it and looking good. <gasps> Huh? Let's go. Phew, that was close. You can probably lose the earring hoist. Don't worry, I'll put it back. Though it is my color. The important thing is, we all got out. But where's Whirl? Uh-oh. <gasps> the real Horace Burns statue! Team, I know for a fact the janitor is a burglar. I need you to trust me, and I really need your help. You got it, Whirl. What can we do? I need a distraction. Almost got it. Almost got it. Uh, Wait, what? That cool! Okay, team. Remember all those rules about staying quiet and stealthy? Forget them. Now that I can do. Yeah! It's diversion time! Loader coming through! Medics, sirens away. <laughs> okay, Brain, never forget you saw Professor Heatwave doing donuts. Just some crazy drivers. <laughs> Can't a criminal work in peace? Gotcha. Up, up, and away. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Hey, what's happening? Up, up, and away. I'm innocent. Nice job. Go, world. Excellent thief catching. Watch out for those ouchie. Ooh, too late. I'll tell Chief Burns to expect an airmail delivery. I've got a whole new appreciation for human art. The yellow really speaks to me. World. In recognition of your fine police work last night, we'd like you to have this. You trusted your instincts and never gave up, even on us. Right, team? Yeah! Wow, thanks! I'd love to accept this award, but I can't. Huh? I didn't catch that burglar alone. When I needed help, you were there. So this statue should really be for all of us. Welcome to the team, Horace. 
We're really excited about our latest finds. We think they may have great historical importance. Like this! A sculpture of one of your Earth leaders. Um, that's actually a disguise. To help you look like someone you're not. Like when we disguise ourselves as vehicles, because humans must never ever learn of our existence? Exactly. Of course, if people were in real danger, it would be worth breaking that rule. Even Optimus says nothing's more important than saving lives. Ah, I shall make a note of that. Check this out. We're pretty sure it's an egg. And that it hatches into one of these. <laughs> Close, but this is a bath toy. And this is a soccer ball. You'll understand when you see it in action. What is that? It's like Cube, but without the armor and the flying, and the battles, and the rockets. OK, it's nothing like Cube at all, but we have to try it. Why don't I show you guys how to play in Hero Hall? Why don't I show you how to play? Will we need this? Um, not this time. Hi, I'm Mo. What? And to celebrate the opening of my 100th Moe's Sporting Goods store, I'm having a monster sale. But don't take my word for it. Ask a monster. <laughs> Help! Save me. This monster is slashing my prices. <gasps> Medics. You coming? But there's an aggressive giant tube beast loose in Milford. Trust me, that beast isn't going to hurt anyone. It's like a giant toy. Come on, let's go play soccer. Hurry down to our monster sale before it's too late. Mm, that toy is vicious. <sighs> Thanks, Heat Wave. Leaving me all the boring jobs to do. Error. Please begin again. Urgh! This is going to take all day. Grimlock, I was looking for Heatwave. He's off on Rescue Bot's business. What do you need? I wish to report a monster attack at Moe's Sporting Goods in Milford. Huh? I didn't hear about that. It should have triggered an alarm. Error. Please begin again. Urgh! Can you type on this thing? I don't see any monsters. You sure about this, medics? Quite, sir. The beast must have gone into hiding. Uh-huh. Tell you what, you keep an eye out for the monster. I gotta get back to Heat Wave's work. Primus, I can't stand spreadsheets. But... Recruit, that's an order. Deleting file. No, no, no! Ah! Whoa. I'll stop him! Ha <laughs> ha! Huh? 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 Oh, bad luck, guys. You almost got me that time. Okay, Hotshot. Now I'm gonna teach you about passing the ball. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> We need medics on our side. He's really fast. Yeah, where is he? Medics, you coming to play or what? Help! Save me! Negative. We need to help Mo. He is in serious danger. Who's Mo? Medics saw a commercial with a monster attack on TV. I don't think he understands it's all fake. Medics, you're worrying about nothing. Trust me, Mo's gonna be just fine. If they refuse to help, then it appears I am Moe's only hope. Rescue bot recruit, roll out! Medics, you missed a great game! Medics? Wow, that monster thing looks like it really got to him. I'd better try to explain commercials again. Medics, where are you? Maybe he's with Grimlock. Professor Grimlock. What's up? We can't find medics. He was worried about a commercial he saw on TV, and I'm afraid he might think it's real. Oh, a commercial. Now I get it. Something about a monster, right? Medics told me about it, but I don't know where he is now. Um, I think I might. Ah, there's the 
zombies out of the way. This is an emergency. Lives are at stake. <gasps> Cody was right. Nothing is more important. That's a big robot. Uh, that's not a good thing, is it? <sighs> what is Medics doing? He knows we can't reveal our bot forms unless human lives are in danger. He must think they are. Stand down. I'm here to protect the people of Milford. You will stop your attack immediately. You leave me no alternative. The safety of the people is my number one concern. I'm afraid I must remove you from this city. Sir or madam, monster? You appear to be in distress. I have medical training. May I be of assistance? Oh. Uh-oh. Um, hello. Nice weather we're having. <laughs> Distract the crowd and get medics out of there fast. Um, guys, there's a national news team heading right for them. If they get medics on camera, everyone on Earth will know about us. Rescue bot recruits, roll out! Of all the days for Heat Wave to leave me in charge. Uh... This is a misunderstanding. I was trying to protect you, see? <gasps> um, is there any chance you could all just forget you've seen me? I guess not. Medics, I hope you learned a lesson. Your team saved us all today. Hopefully, everyone will forget this ever happened. Yeah, not so sure about that, boss. This is a day the city will never forget. The Monday a metal monster menaced Milford. Urgh, we have to fix this. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that what's on television isn't always real. Yeah, we played that soccer game we saw, and there's no slow-mo or instant replays. I'll never believe anything I see on TV again. That's it. What's it? Maybe we can make Milford think Medics was just part of one of Moe's sporting goods commercials. Then they won't think he's a real bot, just a fake TV one. Our secret will be safe. You have a plan, Cody? Yeah, but you're not gonna like it. Greetings, people of Milford. I'm back. Get this on camera, hurry. I have returned to protect the monster savings at Moe's Sporting Goods from actual monsters. From actual monsters. These prices are too low. I'll tear the place down. Great acting, sir. I mean, you'll have to go through me first, monst, sir. Weird. I don't remember ordering another commercial stunt. Oh, well. Come on in, folks. You think those fellas are big? Wait till you see the size of our sale. Oh, oh yes. yes. There, there are monster, monster savings, savings at most sporting, sporting goods. goods. And, and we, we should, should know because we're, we're monsters. Awesome, let's go. That's the last time I take a story tip from you. Although since we're here, I have been wanting a new golf club. We should know because we're monsters. That is never going to stop being awesome. Can we watch it again? <sighs> the good news is, it worked. Milford thinks it was all a stunt. Medics must be thrilled. Where is he? He said he needed a rest after all the adventure, so he's taking a break in front of the TV. Are we sure that's a good idea? Doctor, I've lost my memory. You must tell me who I am! Where do they come up with this stuff? It's so fake! I wish I could, but I've lost my memory too! I'm Fiona of Fiona Sofas, and my prices are out of this world. But don't take my word for it. Ask an actual alien. These prices are cheap! Guys! Oh, wow!
Ready, rescue bots. Ready, let's roll to the rescue. to reach the off valve. It's the only way to stop the dam from completely collapsing. Hurry, you can count on me. Pause simulation. Simulation failed. Wet, what are you doing? Some advanced training. I like to take Bumblebee's role in rescue bot missions. Not very successfully, it seems. I've got to get it right. But your skill sets don't match. Bumblebee's a sports car. You're heavy machinery. You'll never complete a sim as Bumblebee. You'll see. One day, I'll be just like B. And Milford is getting into the spirit of Halloween, excited that tonight, the town will be overrun by ghosts and monsters. That doesn't sound exciting. It sounds super dangerous. We can handle a few monsters and ghosts. Right, medics? Scientifically speaking, there's no proof that ghosts even exist. Ooh. <gasps> oh! Happy Halloween, recruits. Happy Halloween to you two. What's Halloween? And why is it so happy? And how can anyone tell you're happy when you're wearing a mask? Sounds like it's time for another human culture class. Halloween's an Earth holiday that celebrates everything spooky. We dress up in fun costumes and have jack-o'-lanterns. Pleased to meet you, Mr. O'Lantern. That's just what you call a carved pumpkin with a light in it. You can make any design you want on them. Wow, how did you make the spider spin all these webs? Oh, it's not real. So the webs are fake too? Exactly, that's what Halloween's about. Make believe spooky fun. And every year, Milford has a big Halloween festival to celebrate. <laughs> and of course, the best part is trick or treating. You visit houses and people give you free candy. Mm -hmm. oh! Say hello to my special bot o lantern Nice, Whirl. Here, have some candy. I understand why humans would want free candy, but why does that necessitate dressing up in costume? It's part of the tradition. And it's fun to be somebody else for the day. Wait, can you be anybody you want? Anyone or anything. I wish we could go to that Halloween festival. Then we'd really understand the holiday. Yeah, too bad it's in Milford. We can't let the humans see us. <gasps> we can go in vehicle mode. No need. On Halloween, everyone's dressed up, so you won't stand out, even in bot form. I'm going to Milford for the party tonight. If you want to come, meet me at the ground bridge at dusk. We'll be there. Hey, where's Wedge? We haven't seen him since class. We thought he'd already be here. Wedge can't make it. But I can. Whoa. You look just like... Bumblebee. Wow, that's a great costume. It's not too much yellow, is it? Are my shoulders too big? You look awesome, Wedge. Um, B? Exactly how long have you had that in your closet? Come on, guys. Halloween doesn't wait for anyone. Not even Bumblebee. Wow, everything looks spooky and cool. Cody, how should we behave around the humans? Should we observe or interact? Just be yourselves. Whoa, cool robot costumes. Why, thank you. I think she means me. It's obvious who she was looking at. Yeah, Bumblebee! Hmm. 
Come on, everybody. Let's go have some fun. Um, treat us to a trick? <laughs> no, it's trick or treat. Can we get a photo? Now I know what it's like to be a rescue bot legend. I need a photo of us. Robot. Huh? You can't be serious. Tricks and treats is the best! Look! Uh, where's the candy hoist? Oh, I threw that away. But look in my collection of wrappers! Sorry, he's just really in character. Now do you get Halloween? It's about having fun. The spooky stuff's all just for pretend. But some things look so real, like that fire over there. Uh, that's because it is real. Let's roll to the rescue. Look, there are humans trapped inside. I'll call the fire department but I don't know if they can make it through the Halloween festival in time. Then it's up to us. Let's rev up and roll out. As Bumblebee would say. Oh, hey, pretty cool, right? All part of my Halloween costume. This way to safety. The humans are at the top of the house. We gotta be quick. Let's bust down the door and get them out. I'm being Bumblebee. It's what he'd say. Running out of water over here! It's me and you, B. We gotta save that family. I got you! Sorry, guys. I was only doing what Bumblebee would do. But you're not Bumblebee. You're Wedge. And right now, if we're going to save those humans, we need Wedge's help. I can shoot one of my cables to the window. Excellent thinking, Hoist. <sighs> Guess I'm stuck being plain old Wedge. Whirl, once Hoist secures his cable, you can zip line the family to safety. Got it! But we need to put the fire out before you zip line down. Uh oh. Cable ready! I'm in position. That's it, I'm out! We need something else to put out the fire. Wedge, any ideas? It's not what B would do, but... Wedge would use his strength. The fire trucks are on their way. Well done, Wedge. Bumblebee would be proud. Excuse me. Can we have another photo? <sighs> sure. No, of you. You are amazing. I don't know what to say. You saved us. But how did the fire start? The candles in the knocked over pumpkins. It's a good reminder that even though Halloween's fun, we gotta be careful to keep it safe. Can we at least thank the people inside the robot costumes? Uh, your safety is thanks enough. Plus, these take forever to put on. Yeah, like our whole life. I think that's our cue to leave. All right, yeah! That's how it's done. Recruits, if I could have a word, especially you, Wedge. <sighs> Sorry, Professor Heatwave. I got carried away dressed as Bumblebee. But the team made an excellent rescue. And that was an impressive final save. It's good to look up to our heroes, but it's always better to be yourself. I think I know that now. But there is one other thing. Ooh. <laughs> Happy Halloween, recruits. Oh, ah!
Um, Professor Heatwave, maybe we could just go along for part of the trip. Uh, yeah. Space travel doesn't really work that way. But we could help with the mission. We could hand you tools or get you snacks if you ate. Look, someday you'll go up in the Sigma with us. But not this time. The mission's too risky. We love risky missions. Providing they have a probable outcome of success. The Asgard space station lost power. We'll be replacing its cables on the outside of the ship. We're ready to try a spacewalk, sir. It's the try part I'm worried about. One wrong step and you'll drift off into space forever. Sorry, there's no room for error. It's just too dangerous for unseasoned recruits. But what if something goes wrong and you need our help? <laughs> we'll be sure to let you know. In the meantime, think of it as a learning opportunity. You can watch on the monitors, see how each bot contributes to the mission in their own way. Yeah, not quite as exciting as blasting into space. Stay here. Keep an eye on things. If an emergency comes up, call Chief Burns in Griffin Rock. <sighs> oh well. Next time. And we're supposed to be learning what, exactly? This isn't learning. It's just rubbing it in that the rescue bots wouldn't bring us along. Come on, let's go through the lobbing ball around. Uh, let me know if anything educational happens. Wait for us! Hoist and I had plans to go online and do some collecting for our Earth Museum. <laughs> On the internet, no one knows you're an alien robot. Your username might be a tip-off. Alien Robot 11? There were already 10 others. <sighs> ah, well. I can use the time to reorganize my files. Haven't done it since yesterday. The landing alert. For a risky mission, that didn't take long. What's going on? Maybe we should take a look inside? But where are the rescue bots? We better search the ship. Shouldn't we call Chief Burns before we do anything? Those were Heatwave's instructions. Right. You call him while we look around. Stasis pods are empty. The controls are on autopilot. That's how it flew here without him. Rest of the ship's empty too. Our teachers must have gotten into trouble. But they said they'd send us a message if they needed our help. Maybe the ship is the message. Letting us know they're in danger! But what kind? A black hole? Random asteroids? Aliens! I mean, bat aliens. Very odd. Chief Burns answered, but said he was not available. Then he beeped at me. Rather rudely, I might add. That may have been his voicemail. Either way, it's clearly up to us. Our teachers need our help. But even if they do, how do we find them to help? There, that's the location the rescue bot sent the ship from. They wouldn't have left that map on the computer unless they wanted us to see it. And use it to bring the Sigma back to save them. Heatwave told us to stay in the Academy and keep an eye on things. <sighs> Fine. But I'm letting our teachers know this wasn't my idea. Okay then, let's fly. Um. Anybody know how we launched this thing? Heatwave always drives from the big chair. Hmm. Hey! What are you doing? I'm piloting the ship. Look, I'm the obvious choice because I can actually fly. So can Whirl. <clears throat> you two fly yourselves. I know how to fly ships. I just gotta figure out which of these buttons starts the... Try this one. Oh! Uh, guys, hate to tell you, but the coordinates must have been erased when we launched. So, we don't know where we need to go? This is your fault, Hotshot. Don't blame me. At least I got us launched. Of all the impatient bots I've ever well, met. Well, you're the one who guys, wanted to pilot Guys! Me. 
We're out here for a reason, remember? We'll never save our teachers by arguing. We need to work together and figure out how to get back on course. I believe this instruction manual may help. You had that all There's along? There's a manual? Ahem. If I can have a little quiet, I'll be able to find out how to retrieve the coordinates. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Don't everyone thank me at once. Okay, I'll go first. Thanks, medics. Wedge, your turn. Um, I know the blue dot is us and the X is where we're going, but does anybody know what these things are? I'm guessing maybe those? What does the book say? Incoming objects. Here, station one. Engage emergency shields. That's the red switch at station one. Red switch, shields are on. Next, we override the coordinates at station two. Station two, that's me. Find the blue disengage button. Disengage, disengage, got it. Wait, while simultaneously locking guidance system at station three. Ready, hoist. One, two, three, Lock. Disengaged. All right, step three, start evasive maneuver. But it doesn't say how. Evasive maneuver? That I know. Everyone, sit down and hang on. Ah! Re-engaging autopilot. Good work, team. We did it. All I did was press a button a couple of times. There are no small jobs, just small buttons. Right. It took all of us working together. So, does that mean we can take turns in the chair? Maybe on the way back. I can't wait to tell Professor Heatwave what a great job we did. It looks like you won't have to. Sigma, calling Heatwave. Heatwave, come in. Are they okay? Zoom in a little more. Why aren't they answering? Ah, uh, thank Primus. You made it. Yes! And I'd like to go on record, Professor Heatwave, as saying that I was against disobeying orders. Well, in this case, I'm glad you did. Um, I am as well, sir. In fact, overjoyed. Now, bring the Sigma a little closer and release the tractor winch. Yes, sir! Um, tractor winch button? Anybody? What does it look no like? No idea. Who has the manual? I got it. No! no! Ah! What? I told you I had it. We're in position. Hold it steady, Bridge. Steady and ready, Freddy. Um, I know your name's not Freddy, but just go with the rhyme, okay? Affirmative, Betty. Position lock, Hoist. You sure you're up for this? I could go out there too, you know? Yeah, but I've got built-in steering, see? My sonic blasters. Ah! Rescuing our teachers has got to be worth extra credit, right? Let's wait on that until we're actually in the ship. Yay! Yes! Rescue bot recruits! Targets recovered, Wedge. Reel us in. Not bad, recruit. Once we finished our repairs, the space station started rotating again. We hadn't counted on that. We were stuck outside and couldn't reach the Sigma, but I could still control it remotely. So I figured the best thing was to send the ship home as a message. I knew it! We weren't sure you'd figure it out, or how to get the ship here. Not everybody was sure you wanted us to. But once we all agreed and put our heads together... We did it as a team! You did a fine job. We'll take it one mission at a time, sir. And now that we all know our jobs, it'll be a lot easier next time. Dangling in space all that time took a little bit out of us. We're going to hit the stasis pods on the way back. So, does that mean...? Take us home, team. Don't worry, everybody. I got this.
I see rocks, sand, a road. What are we looking for exactly? No idea. Heatwave said we'd know when we saw it and use our best judgment to act accordingly. Mystery simulations are my least favorite lessons. You could always just sit it out, like Hoist. Come on, I'm doing some really important research. This is a dragon! I've never even heard of one before, but they sound seriously dangerous. I circled the area 17 times. That's when I figured it out. Maybe what we're looking for is invisible. Oh, then how will we know when we're done with it? A speeding car! That's gotta be it. And our job must be to stop it. We can force the car toward that canyon over there. Hoist and I will be ready and waiting. Wait, what? That canyon's miles away. How are we gonna get there in time? Oh! Rescue by recruits, roll out! We'll create a roadblock at the far end of the canyon. The driver will see us and have to stop the car. Uh-huh. You know they breathe fire? Cars breathe fire? No, dragons. Oh, okay. Maybe I should run that whole plan by you again. Yes, it's working! And don't even think about doing a U-turn, buddy. Okay, Hoist, get ready. Here they come. You block the other half of the canyon. Amazing! They can fly, too! Hoist, the car won't stop if it sees a way past us! Uh, sorry, I'll stop it! Hmm. This car certainly won't be driving at excessive speeds in the near future. Yeah! Nice catch, Hoist! Heatwave will be so impressed. Oh dear. I'm a doctor, and I'm racing to the hospital because I'm the only one in the world who can perform life-saving surgery. Uh-oh. So, not only did you stop the doctor from reaching the hospital, you also destroyed his car. He was driving really fast. Did you ever stop to wonder why? The point of this sim is to help you learn that things aren't always what they seem. Or as humans say, don't judge a book by its cover. What if the book doesn't have a cover? <sighs> the point of the lesson is that things may not always be as they seem. Whoa! Thank you, Hoist. I agree. It's an important lesson for you to learn. No, I mean, whoa, these dragons are a serious threat. We should be training to deal with them, not reading books on judges or whatever today's lesson was. It was don't judge a book by its cover. How big is that dragon? This one is huge. It seems to have a forked tongue. Fascinating. It sleeps on a bed of gold and treasure. How is that comfortable? Recruits! Dragons almost certainly never existed and are not important. This lesson, on the other hand... I don't know, Chief. These things look pretty dangerous. We should run some simulations for dealing with them, just in case. Hmm. If that's the only way to keep your attention on the lesson... This one's red, but they can be silver or green or lots of colors. Wait, what's happening? Where are we? Hoist book, because that's a dragon. It's attacking, quick. Everyone into the castle. This is more like it, training to deal with dragons. This way, my band of metal lights shall be safe with him. Thou art in no danger inside the castle walls, my friends. But a great tragedy may still befall us. Our king is due to arrive anon. And if he is caught on the road by that dragon, I dread to think what shall come to pass. I've read stories like this. Our mission must be to get rid of the dragon before it toasts the king. Leave that to me. I'll get the dragon to chase me and lead it away from the road. It's almost too easy. Odd. Whenever he says that, it seems things only get worse. Smokes now! Over here! Think you're hot stuff? Bet you can't catch me! He's right behind me! Go, go, go! Oh, guess 
guess it didn't take the bait. Let me try. I'll get its attention. Sorry! My fault. Oops! I did it again! I guess you're going to want to chase me now, right? Yeah, I thought so. guys that dragon just doesn't want to play whatever thy noble band hath planned please do it fast the hour of the king's arrival is nigh upon us are you thinking what i'm thinking yeah i love the way he talks yeah no i mean this could be really bad dragons are famous for eating royalty well if it doesn't want to move by itself we'll just have to make it move hoist i'll need your help Ready? Would it matter if I said no? Great, let's do it. I didn't think so. Hey, hey, I caught a dragon! Oh, I caught a dragon! Grab on! It's working! Quick, anchor the line! So, why isn't the simulation stopping? Hey, Heat Wave, we're finished! We moved the dragon! Strange. The simulation should end when the mission is complete. I guess moving the dragon wasn't the mission. And it looks like we're stuck here until we find out what we're supposed to do. Another mystery simulation. Oh, joy. We have to be missing something. Yeah. What was it Heat Wave said? Stop playing cube when you should be studying. No, I mean today. Oh, don't judge a book by its cover. But what's that have to do with any of this? You haven't looked at your book since you got here. Perhaps Heat Wave's lesson is about judging things based on their appearances and being wrong. Right, like we saw a dragon and we thought it was a threat because it looked scary. But the dragon hasn't actually attacked any of us. Right! It just keeps blowing fire on the same spot. The only time it came close to burning us was when we were there, too. Huh. Well, now that you mention it, the dragon does seem like it wants to get back there really bad. Then maybe we should take a closer look at that spot and find out why. And here we go again. No idea what we're looking for or where to find it. Hey, guys, look at this. <gasps> the dragon must have eaten the king. Wait, don't judge a book by its cover. This dragon hasn't tried to eat anyone yet. Why start now? And I'm fairly certain that this looks like an accident. We need to investigate further. Uh... Now, Hotshot, just be patient. Uh, I'm not thrilled about long investigations, but that wasn't me. Uh... It's coming from over there. It's the king! Thank goodness you brave metal knights found me. The dragon did its best to keep me warm on this freezing mountainside. But I don't think I could have survived much longer without its help. The dragon was helping you? I didn't see that coming. The dragon was trying to protect the king all along. It was never a threat. We just thought it was. Don't judge a book by its cover, indeed. Sorry for thinking you were a bad guy, dragon. Yeah, we should have tried to understand what you were doing, instead of just assuming we knew. We'll be more careful next time. Thank you, my fire-breathing friend. And thank you, heroes of the future. Farewell. Wow. <gasps> Do you think the Academy would let us have a pet dragon? No, it would not. I see you recruits have finally learned today's lesson. Whoa! I'm glad the lesson has had such an impact on you, Hoist. No, I mean, wow, look at these monsters! I thought dragons were a threat, but have you heard of ogres? These things are seriously dangerous! Look! Disconcerting! Whoa. Look at those teeth! Ah! <sighs> oh, wow! Team, the rescue site is two minutes away. 
so we know where we're going, but not what the rescue is? I believe that was Heat Wave's plan, to make sure we are prepared for anything. And we'll show them we are, or will be, once we get there. Which is taking forever? Come on, guys, pick a lane! Sorry, Hotshot. We have to travel in formation. And at the approved speed. Not only Heat Wave's orders, but also a very good idea. I know, but he wants us to think for ourselves too, right? Hey, a shortcut! See you there! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Um, where's this rescue exactly? <laughs> See you there! I'll still be first! Whoa! Look out! Hotshot, don't hit the. Too late. Simulation failed. I know we're still learning and all, but we're not supposed to run someone over on the way to the rescue, are we? It wasn't fair. He came out of nowhere. Good thing it was Tough Luck Chuck and not a real human. But it could have been. That's the point of the exercise. Next time, it might not be our test robot who steps in front of you. We're sorry we let you down, Professor Heatwave, sir. Or, more specifically, that one of us did. Today, Hotshot taught us a valuable lesson. I did? Oh, yeah! Uh-huh! What not to do. On a rescue, saving humans is the first priority. So you have to be ready to do whatever it takes to help them. This is what it means to be a rescue bot. Yes! Serve, save, and protect! Not necessarily in that order. Cross at the green, 93. That's why we call him Tough Luck Chuck. Cross at the green, 92. It appears he took some minor damage. I am fine. I am fine, I am fine, I am. Sure you are, Chuck. I think he needs to be reset. Hold still, buddy. Uh, there. Buckle up for safety! I'm fired! Uh-oh. His off switch is broken. Several new parts may be required, which Professor Boulder will have to build before I can install them. We can't let him wander around until then. Somebody's going to have to watch him. Hotshot, thanks for volunteering. What? Why me? Well, it's not my fault he... Well, yes it is, but still... I'll check on you both later. Right now, I'm needed in Milford. Have fun. Hmm. So, what do you feel like doing, Chuck? Don't run with scissors! Huh? Hey, Chuck! Hold on! Where do you think you're going? Always look both ways! Ugh. Do you know all the other fun things I could be doing now? Playing Cube, helping Hoist test new tech, not watching you? Hmm. <laughs> Chuck, that's great. <laughs> What's so funny? Chuck, he's hilarious. I'm having a total blast with him. But he's just sitting there. I know, right? He even sits funny. You should really spend some time with him. Like, now, even. I mean, I guess I could let you watch him for a while. I don't know. I, I was doing some rescue research, and... You can do that anytime. All you have to do is make sure he doesn't... <gasps> Chuck! Where'd he go? Oh, you let him get away! Me? He was your job! Oh, poor Chuck! What if something happens to him? <gasps> like he falls into a trash compactor, only it has sharks inside it, with lava breath and laser eyes! I don't think that could happen. Not on my watch! Let's go! He has to be in one of these rooms. Start looking. He's not here. Come on. Where 
could he be? There's no way he can get out of the training center, is there? I don't think so, but... <gasps> Upstairs! Hey, hot shot! Lose something? Chuck! I'm so glad you found him before the sharks did. Yeah, in fact, you're having such a great time hanging out together, I'll just leave you to it. Uh, no thanks. I'm kind of busy and... Chuck! Helmets are always a good idea! Oh no, heat waves coming back! He's not gonna be happy. Chuck! Come back, Chuck! Up here, buddy! Tell me when it's over. I'm here with those parts you wanted, Boulder. Meet you in the lab. Hmm. <sighs> Quick! We have to get him! Chuck! Tough luck, Chuck. More like tough luck for us. I hope he stays safe, wherever he is. Wherever he is? But what if he's somewhere with humans? Humans who find him discover he's made from Cybertronian technology. And realize we're aliens! The next thing you know, the whole planet is posting online theories about us and hunting us with pitchforks and... Yeah, that's bad and all, but what really worries me is if Heat Wave finds out. We have to find out where he went. Check the controls on the bridge. It's set for Milford. Great. Now we'll get kicked out of Rescue Bots Academy for sure. We? We're all in this together now. We have to go get Chuck back. To do that, we'll need a teacher. Can't we jumpstart it or something? <gasps> yes! I saw a show on human TV where this police officer starts a car with just chewing gum and a paper clip. So all we need is chewing gum! And a paper clip. Good idea, Whirl. But, um, sounds like we better get a teacher. No way. That means I'll have to tell Heat Wave what happened. <sighs> Chuck was your responsibility. You did what? It was a, an accident. It could have happened to anybody. Anybody who was put in charge of watching him, which was you. But there's no time for lectures now. We have to get Chuck back. We'll split up. Don't do anything that might make the humans think you're not just vehicles. That enough Chuck's out there. I just hope nobody's seen him yet. You and me both. Recruits, roll to the rescue. Yes! Sorry, I love when he says that. You don't need to follow me. I made the mistake. I can fix it. Okay, prove it. Rogue Robot spotted. He's in the parking lot of a supermarket. Two blocks east. I'm on it. Slow down. Take it easy. Got him. Look out! Ah! Always secure your oxygen mask before helping. Others. Come on, we need to get Chuck home before more people show up. All fixed. New parts reset and turned off, I hope. He's either coming to tell me that I did a good job or to finish that lecture. Both. You accomplished your mission, retrieving Chuck. Good work. But you're not exactly a hero. I know. I put a human in danger, which is pretty much the opposite of what a rescue bot was supposed to do. But I saved the human, too. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, except that you saved him from you. Which you did really well. I'm sorry, Heat Wave. Next time you tell me to do something, like slow down or watch Chuck, I'll do it. Hmm. Sounds like you learned something after all. Hello. Did I miss anything?